Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Fusion 360 tutorial in millimeters. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to import a JPEG photo. And I'm also going to show you guys how you can um, calibrate the photo so it's actual size. Uh, so first we're going to open up the program. And we're going to go ahead and go to the top cube right here. Make it a top view. We're going to go ahead and click this little icon here. It's create a sketch. And then we're going to click this little beige square here. <clears throat> now we're going to click right here on this canvas. And this is how you import your JPEG file. So we're going to come over here to import from my computer. We're going to double click on the file. Then we're going to click right here where we want it to go. Now we're going to size this. So just go ahead and click on that corner, scale it up. Now we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to calibrate this. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and blow up. We're going to zoom in to the photo so you can see a little bit better. OK, now we're going to come over here to Canvases. We're going to right mouse click on that arrow or click on it to drop it down. Then we're going to right mouse click on the photo. Come on, right mouse click. And then, or actually right mouse click on there and you want to go to Calibrate. Then you want to pick two points. So what it's asking for is a point, two points. So you're going to click there. Then you're going to click in the middle there. Now you want to put in the correct uh, space, the correct size, which is 42 millimeters. So 42, enter. Uh, now the, the part, the JPEG file has been calibrated and it's 100% size. So this is the size you want to draw it at. So we'll zoom back out. Now we're going to go ahead and create the drawing. So we're going to go ahead and do these metal pieces here first. I'm going to drag that out. It's supposed to be 32, I believe. 32. And then you're going to get the circle tool again. And you're going to drag this one out. This one doesn't say what size it is. But I'm imagining it's supposed to be uh, 57 or 56. Okay, this is 56. So we're going to type 56. <clears throat> okay. Now you're going to go ahead and get the small circles. Put those in there. Those are uh, 12. So go ahead and type 12. And we're going to put another one in there. Right mouse click, we'll just say go to the sketch. And we're not done, we're not finished yet. We gotta come up here. Get your circle tool again. Go ahead and type in 12. <coughs> now we want to do the dimensions. We want to go from the midpoint to the midpoint. That's supposed to be 84. So type in 84. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and um, let's also put a dimension in here. So we're going to go from midpoint to midpoint there. Pull that down there. That's supposed to be 42. So we'll go ahead and put 42 in there. Okay. Now we'll do another one. We'll go from there over to here. Pull that up to there and type 42. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and get the line tool. Actually, we have to create these other circles out here. So let's go ahead and Click on the center there. We'll drag out. This is going to be 20. What is this supposed to be? 28. So 28. And then we'll put another one right here. Grab your, grab your circle. Click and drag. We're going to go 28. Now we'll get our um, line tool. Go from there to the top. And then we'll go from here. It doesn't really matter where we're going to use the constraints. I'm going to show you how to use those as well. Just put a line down on uh, top and bottom. 
Okay, now we're going to come up here to the constraints. We're going to use this tangent constraint, and we're going to click there, and then that circle. Click the line, and then the circle. And do the same on the bottom. The line to the circle, and then you can just kind of work your way around. Do the do the small circles. I do the same on the top. Small circles. Okay, this is all this is all um, constrained. So now we're going to go. You don't have to keep the drawing if you want to get rid of that drawing. Just right mouse click on it. Can't seem to get there. You can turn it off. Just turn your uh, turn the little uh, eye off, and you should be fine. So we're going to go ahead and uh, extrude this stuff. So go over here to your solids, go to extrude, and then I like to kind of click on the little square and rotate this stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna scale, we're gonna extrude that up to um, thirty millimeters. And now, if things disappear, that's a little uh, disconcerting. When I was first learning this program, uh, it's kind of freaky because you're not sure where the stuff goes, but it's always under your sketches under here. So what happens is it just uh, turns off, turns the eye off, so you just have to turn it back on. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get these parts here. So we're going to hold down the control key, get all these pieces, and then you're going to go over here to your extrude, and then you're going to drag this up. So you click that arrow there. Let's drag that up. Let's go 10 millimeters. That's fine. And then you want to finish, you just come over here and click OK. Now we'll do the same on these. Go ahead and hold on control. Get your extrude. Now we want to grab that. Extrude that up a little bit. I want these to be 20. So I'll just type 20 in there. Okay, so now this is our part. And uh, we created this by importing a JPEG file. The imported JPEG file comes over here under the canvases. Um, we right mouse click on that photo and we went to calibrate and then we calibrated the size of the JPEG files to be 100%. So now this part is the same size that it would be if we were manufacturing in this part. So there's no guessing. You don't have to do any math work. You just calibrate. That's a pretty handy feature. Now we're going to go add a little bit of details to this part and then we'll be finished with the part. So we'll go ahead and click on the fillets. And I'm going to go hold down the control key and I want to get all these points here. <clears throat> then I want to put a, <clears throat> a, two, a two millimeter fillet. And do the same on the inside. Go two there. Go ahead and spin this part. That looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to add fillets to the side here. We could do one and see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and do maybe a one millimeter fillet. Yeah, we could add one millimeter fillet. That's okay. Let's go ahead and spin this. Go to your fillet tool. You can just uh, hold down the control key and get both of these points. Add one millimeter. <clears throat> now come, <clears throat> excuse me. Now come down here to your uh, magnifying glass and just go down to fit. It'll put that whole thing in in the window for you. Okay, so this is going to be our part. Um, that's going to end today's tutorial in Fusion 360 of how to create a part, a basic part, how to actually import a JPEG file, um, how to change that in canvases to uh, calculate or calibrate, and um, then how to um, add your holes and add your, add your fillets. So the only last thing I'm going to do here is add a couple more fillets to these. Hold down the control key, maybe a one millimeter fill it there. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching the video and you got something useful out of the video. Thanks again for watching.